because I'm I'm not advertising this stuff. Sure, sure. And it's you're, so you're the only one that knows. <laughs> the point, my wife. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I am a part-time reseller based out of Montana. And right now, I'm driving down the road. We are uh, in the Bitterroot Mountain Range. This is the 50-mile garage sale. I've never done this before. Uh, a lot of fun and a beautiful area of the state, so worth it just for a drive, quite honestly. I'm driving right through the Bitterroot Mountain Range. There's the Lee Metcalf Wildlife Refuge over here. It is gorgeous. And you know what else is gorgeous? Finding great deals at garage sales. And I teased it before, we talked about it before in our anatomy of a garage sale, but in case you missed that one, I'll put the card up here. I am right now heading back to this guy's house because uh, the, the Cliff's Notes version of this story went to a garage sale yesterday and uh, bought some cool old vintage toys from this guy, got into a conversation, found out he had some Star Wars action figures, vintage Star Wars action figures, and it sounds like he's even got the accessories and stuff with them. They were not part of the sale, but I actually bought a few things that weren't part of the sale as it was. He brought them out, saw that I was interested in them, and I bought them. We had a conversation, and I said, hey, if you decide at some point you want to sell any of those, let me know, because I'm interested. I texted him this morning, and then got about 25 miles down the road, and I heard back from him. He said, if you're interested, come on over. Well, what do you do when somebody has vintage Star Wars action figures with the accessories and you're 25 miles down the road and they say, come on over? You bail on your original plan and you head back down the road 25 miles to look at the vintage Star Wars action figures with all the accessories. That's where we're going. I, I don't know about price. I don't know about anything, but it's worth taking the time, driving back. It doesn't work. I still got all morning. I'll head back where I just was and start on over. But you don't blow the chance to pick up some vintage Star Wars stuff. So that's where I'm headed. See how it works. Morning. So you decided to get rid of your toys, huh? Well, maybe. We'll see. So <laughs> you can actually come back here. Okay. So maybe I should ask her if you decided to get rid of your toys. Is that oh, no? Yeah. She, Am I... well, yeah, then it'd be gone and in your car. <laughs> but uh, so um, you know, these are the figures from. So I have them divided up by year. Okay. And with weapons. Um, then we have the ships, the the band, and then Jabba the Hutt's set. The one only I did notice the one thing there's the um, the there's a C little clamp. That's oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead. Where's the I don't know where the oh. change is. Oh, it's in your pocket. There we go. <laughs> um, and then this is Star Wars. I had Battlestar Galactica. Oh wow. I have, uh, what was, I have Morgan Mindy. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? So you, you went all the, the uh, all yeah. the sci-fi stuff. The Battlestar Galactica, it did, uh, the crazy thing, I mean, they were all played with the same, which basically they never left the house. Right. And these have fallen apart just on their own. Was it the, the rubber bands? And is that what it is? I, yeah. yeah. See, like the old G.I. Joes did that too. The yeah. little rubber bands disintegrate. And, and this, so, was my, this was my... Most precious one ever, and it has started. It's loosened up because it, um, and it's the bands. So, well, um, and then, uh, I'm just kind of going all over the place. So here's the bat the Battlestar Galactica stuff had all of the uh, the weapons, the okay. launching weapons, and I have them all. Oh wow. Man, so, you, you did take good care of those. Yeah, like I, said, I had a lot of these, and I ended up, like, blowing them up or, well, like, you know. I was an awful kid. I mean, <laughs> um, friends could look, but they couldn't touch. That's <laughs> so funny. It was like, and they never went outside. Right. Um, so, um, and my brother was seven years older, so he was on other stuff at the time. Um, and then there's 
And then all the figures are for the battle star. Um, here's this. Not many people have. So I've got the books with the tapes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. But, I didn't even know they had a belt buckle. They have every, every, every. Oh, Well, I mean, of course they do, there's, right? There's nothing they didn't have. So the um, posters, mm -hmm. the poster magazines. Those. And then the, so here's the, the fan club stuff. Sure. So here's. I've got a couple of the original fan club posters. Yeah. There's, and you have the, so I also had the patches, Hi, mm -hmm. the stickers, Good. and the, the photographs uh, from the movie. The movie photograph. So the glossies. Yeah. And then the comic, more you know, large format comic books. There's Star Wars. Yeah. But I'm not sure what you're interested in. And uh, I will say one thing if, if I sell, I'd like to sell. I'd lo honestly, I'd like to just, if I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go. Right, right. So um, if you're interested in making an offer. Yeah, I just don't know how. I mean. <clears throat> It, 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 it's more than I than I expected you had to be honest with you. Yeah. You've even got the old slave one here. Yeah. Is this the, is they the they re released it, but no, that's the original. I yeah. Mean, I don't play any of them. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, they re released it, and I don't remember when it was. I think it was when the like in the late nineties, maybe. Yeah. When they. Were and it's crazy how all the yeah all of the uh, the re releases and the different size. I mean, they had some of the stuff back in the day, the different size, you know, toys. Yeah, I've got this guy home too, the carbonite. Yep. Wow. Well, I don't. I mean, you throw, throw it, at least throw me out a number, because I honestly don't know where so, where okay. you would even be. So, I mean, I know there's, you know, the characters um, generally they can go from a dollar, essentially, up to you know multiples so i would say like two to three average for all of them okay and then obviously some are going to be worth yeah, more so the yeah. 77 set here so that you know we've got um, let's see that's luke skywalker with the lightsaber right. um darth vader with the lightsaber in arm um I don't know if it's in this. I do have the um, R2-D2. That would be Empire Strikes Back. With the, with the little the thing, thing, yeah. That comes up. Um, oh, this is the one that broke. I don't... Oh, okay. I don't know why. That was the most bizarre thing. Just the, the random extra yeah. officer. But, uh... So, I mean... And I... Honestly, I haven't counted them up. I, yeah. I don't even know how many there are. Um, and you know what? If Even if you don't want to... You can take some pictures if you want to think about it, and I can, you know, because I'm I'm not advertising this stuff. Sure, sure. And it's you're, so you're the only one that knows, <laughs> other than my wife <laughs> and kid. So, um, I'm not even sure, you know. So I was thinking, you know, like two to three dollars a character mm -hmm. at least to start. Sure. And then you know, I'm not. You know, there's some people that are advertising crazy money for a single character. Four, five, so ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve, thirteen. So what do you think? There's maybe like I don't know, fifteen in a bag, or well, I mean that one's eight, fuller. Nine. Does add up even if right, you know, right, right. Yeah. So if there's twenty two, yeah. twenty five, twenty 
26, 27, 28, 29, 31. 83 has a lot of 45. So what do you think? There's like, I don't know, 60 characters, something like that maybe? Or more, do you yeah. think? And then the band. It's, it's tough to know. It is. Um, I'd probably say 300 for all of it. Okay. And so that's um, roughly rounding up to about 200 for the all the characters. Right. And then an additional, you know, money for the uh, the, you know, the artwork, the books, mm -hmm. and then any of the larger the larger characters, ships, bank. And, uh, you know, sets. Sure. Six million dollar man. <laughs> That's pretty cool, too. He got a nice he's little... He's missing a shoe. <laughs> well, he ran yeah. really fast. Yeah. And I've got, uh, yeah, E.T. and the Gremlins. Okay. Black Hole. Remember that I one? do remember that one, yeah. I, I, some of the movies I've refused to watch again. Just yeah, because they don't hold up at all. No, no, they don't. I, watched, I learned my lesson when uh, we were dating in college, and I, I, my wife, I said, you have to see Escape from New York. <laughs> Snake Blisket. Snake Blisket. And it's like, that movie does not hold I mean, Oh, the, no. The, the, you know, communicators are huge. The yeah. old, you know, Vietnam era. It's like, right. gosh. But. I could, let's see. Three. Is two fifty an insult to you? Well, I'd have to keep Chewbacca. The big one. Sure. You know what? You should do that anyway. That's <laughs> that's your guy. That's so, the only one that left. That's the one that. I mean, this is my you know, <laughs> my name on the. You know, yeah. That's the one that went to show and tell. Oh, so he he actually left the house. He did leave the house. Which is why there's one missing. In the bandolier. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish I'd never taken that out. <laughs> right, you, you keep Chewy and I'll do 250. How about that? Okay. And I'll take it all. Okay. And your, your wife doesn't have to see it again. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll do that. I think I even, I don't even think I have to go to the ATM. I think I can get it to you right here. Have you introduced your son to some of this, though? Like, <laughs> not at all. He's looked through all of it. Uh, every interest of mine is just pshh, right past. Right. So motorcycles we we had bought and sold wasn't interested in um, this stuff. Nope. So you want the you want this stuff? I mean, I will just. You can yeah. For, yeah. I mean, I I I, I love all that stuff. So. It's, uh, like I said, I don't have to think about it again. And Chewie can get an altar in the house. There you go. He's he's got extra space now. And I think I may I may I will replace the bands on that one. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. And there's one. There is a bag of uh, what you have, weapons and packs that I was not able to to, to match. Link. Okay. Um, but I know they're Star Wars, and a couple might be Battlestar Galactica, but um, you get the sort. That that's part of the fun, right? I'm oh, cool! Saw that. Are the, oh, it's the the, the, the Play-Doh Play guys. Yeah. So use. <laughs> the little molds. Yes. Right. Well, I want to make sure you get it right here. So, two, four, six, eight. There's one, two, four, six, 
eight. There's two, two, four, five. So two fifty. Right? And count it. Make sure I, I'm not. Oh. Make sure my math is right. Three, five, and yep. All right. Woo! That was <laughs> pretty good, guys. Um, I, I really don't know the potential profit in there. Um, I, I sort of fear, you know, a, a lot of those figures, they go, you know, let, let's just say an average of 25 bucks a piece. Um, there are, I would guess, 60 or more. Uh, you know, there were 22 in one bag that he counted. I was looking at one that had like 15 or 20. There was some, so, you know, maybe 60 in there. I mean, we're looking at, I don't know, $1,200 in figures, potentially. Um, you know, because some of them are going to be lower, but some are going to be higher. Uh, we got Boba Fett from uh, 1979 in there. It's pretty good. Um, so we're going to make $1,000 just on the figures. And then he's got a couple of ships. Uh, you know, they, we're going to make some good money on that. And it's going to sell very well. It's relatively easy to list. And it's one of those bucket list items. You know, I wanted, you know, I've been wanting to find that vintage original Star Wars stuff. And we found it all in one spot. Uh, that made it worth it. That paid for the trip, uh, quite honestly. You know, and th that was one of the things I was worried about is, you know, I'm investing in a hotel room and gas and uh, time away. This paid for it all. Uh, and this is a really, really cool flip, or it will be a cool flip. It's a cool find. Um, I, I'm excited and uh, it'll be fun to go through all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, th that guy made some cash. I, I think I ended up dropping, let's see, two, I ended up dropping $320 at that guy's place over two days. But we're going to make well over that. We're going we're gonna to make a lot of money off of that one guy's sale. And so, you know, we talked about it in the last video. You know, it, it's worth it to talk to people, be kind, be good, show an interest. You never know what it's going to turn into. And in this case, it turned into an incredible Star Wars haul, plus other random, you know, the $6 million man and gremlins, I think, in there. And I've got a lot of treasure to go through. I don't even know all what I bought. Um, <laughs> and I'm thrilled. So there you go, guys. That the uh, best single deal I've ever made. I think um, we're going to make a lot of money off of it. We probably made a little bit more off of a, a deal I made early on uh, with a whole bunch of Funko Pops. Um, but this is more fun. Uh, this is reliving more of my childhood. I'm enjoying looking at this stuff. I think it's really, really cool. And the fact that it's so clean and so much uh, of it is intact is is incredible. And so uh, if you're interested, keep an eye on the store. Uh, we're going to have a whole lot of this stuff being listed over the next little while. All I'm doing is listing Star Wars figures for probably the next week. Um, so lots of it showing up in the store. And if you want to see some of those figures, of course, some of them are listed now in the store, but I've got lots more that are not. Uh, and so we'll do a bit of an unboxing uh, video, essentially. It's going to take me 20 minutes or more to go through all of it. And that would make this video ridiculously long. And some people aren't super into looking at that. But if you are interested in seeing some of that, you know what we're doing this morning? We are doing a double header. We're dropping another premiere of the unboxing. It's coming up in just a couple minutes right here on this channel. And if you're watching it, I guess, down the road, well, you can catch that video back to back as well. I'll, I'll put a link right up here. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye.